This song is going to be the Bright Orange Heroes of Cumber. It was a bit of a change from the last one. The Bright Orange Heroes of Cumber were members of the Orange Order. Now the Orange Order was founded in Loch Gaul in 1795. Now that's a number of years before the Battle of Alna Hitch, which was in 1798. The army that was led by General Monroe was in like, uh, people from Comber and people from Grey Abbey and all, all over County Down really. But something happened in the meantime. The establishment had seen fit to back up the Presbyterians and to, to count them as loyal citizens and to continue their uh, disaffection for the Catholic population. And uh, the Catholic Protestant dissenter was a big, uh, I suppose, uh, 1798 idea, but it collapsed because of this support for the Presbyterian crowd. And it was uh, channeled through the Orange Order. So, I think the idea was that the, the Relief Act of around about that time, 1793, was regarded by some as, as kind of a, a, a kind of a Catholic plot. So, anyway, the upshot was the Orange Order became more popular and the Republican movement more or less died. And in this song we have the first good example of sectarian coat trailing. What you used to do when you went to a market or a fair if you were feeling like you're having a fight, and you usually did after you had a few jars, what you did was you walked down the street with your coat off and you trailed it after you. And the idea was anybody who thought he was tough could stand on your coat. And once he stood in your coat, that was an invitation to fight, and away you went. You fought. So the fashion of fighting at first and such was, it's even mentioned in the song, you notice that the orange men were ready to fight anyway. Here we go. On the 12th of July last, as Gary Abbey Town we passed, to Kirkcobbin where we didn't assemble. The rebels they did pray for a curse on us that day, and their hearts within them did tremble. As we passed down Shuttle Row, that's a rebel place, you know. Thinking we were useless lumber, they swore they'd break our drum if we up to them did come. But we are the bright orange heroes of Cumber. O'Connell, he does boast of his great big orange host, or rebel host. He says they are ten thousand in number, but the half of them you'll find, they are both lame and blind. But we're the bright orange heroes of Cumber. So here's a loyal toast, may all best traitors roast. Confound the foes of the orange order, for we'll give blow for blow while the swift pine waters blow, for the bright orange heroes of Cumber.